pass SQL exam 7461 and job interview programming SQL Server 2012. This is Karl Mantov. This is my new book. It can be ordered using this order link or ISBN number at Amazon.com or just typing in the exam number or my name in Amazon.com search box. We are going to export the results of this query 86 rows. This is a group by query. There is an inner join between the vendor and the purchase order header table. The vendor name v.name is used in the group by. In the sort we use vendor, the column alias. Column alias can only be used in order by close. It cannot be used in group by or where close or anywhere before that. Order by is the only place where we can use a column alias. So let's start the import export wizard, tasks, export data. This is the source. Our destination is going to be Excel. And we enter the file name. This is a path and the file name. Next. We are going to write a query. And this is our query. Parse. This SQL statement is valid. Next. Let's check out mapping. Where char 50, currency, 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 currency. It looks good. We can even edit the SQL if we want it. OK. Preview. It looks good. OK, next. We get some yellow triangle. Hopefully, it's going to be OK. Next, next, finish. So it's 86 rows transferred. So it appears that everything went OK. Let's check the results. So I just double clicked on the file name, uh, which is vendor info.xls, and uh, Excel popped up. This is the first column, the vendor name. It appears to be OK. Resizing column B, resizing column C. D and E and everything uh, looks to be in order so it was a successful export of query results from AdventureWorks 2012 database in summary Exporting data from the database as an entire table or the results of query is a very important task for anybody who is dealing with RDBMS database, be it the database administrator or database developer or somebody who may be doing uh, both of these functions. This is the end of a short demo.